I really got to wake up. I really got to wake up because y'all know, whoo, when I start off that way, something grinds my gears. I got to knock the, the dirt off my shoulder. We getting ready. We got to go in on this guy. Mark, I mean, who, who are you talking about, bro? By George, who are you talking about? I want to talk about church. Mm -hmm. Hey, church, I, I got to talk about uh, who you want to talk about. I ain't just snub myself. I want to talk about, mm, I want to talk about Tariq Nasheed. Who you want to talk about? Huh? Huh? I want to talk about, mm, I want to talk about Tariq Nasheed. I, I saw a video. I, I was getting ready to go to sleep uh, and then popped up the video. It said, uh, mm, it said, uh, Tariq Nasheed drags reality's temple on earth. I, I said, uh, what? I said, uh, Tariq uh, got to say about me. I only got 10. I want to say count them 10. I only got 10 subscribers and uh, I only get a mm, church. I only get a 10 views. If you tell me, why would a Tariq Nasheed want to mention Angel Snub Nub 7? Show took me full loop, uh, but I gotta, mm, I gotta mm, describe my gears because he didn't say nothing good. Y'all hear me? He didn't say nothing good. So I gotta, mm, I gotta bring it back to my bra. Uh, I like you a little bit, but I know you're ignorant, but uh, I gotta bring it to you, Tariq. Give your reality check, sir. Mm, well, uh, <laughs> I like that. Don't y'all like that? <laughs> Look, I'm gonna give this this idiot his credit. Okay, this he's an idiot. Okay, you want to be disrespectful and you want to present me in a crazy way? Well, we can let's 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 do this. Hidden colors. I like hidden colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it's not that many. <laughs> you know, you know, Tariq Nasheed making all this money and he don't give nothing back to y'all. And, uh, you know, what's up with that? Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't get it. But I mean, uh, Tariq, I mean, hidden colors is good. It's not your history because the reality is your history started with slavery. I, I know you don't like that, but your history started with slavery. Tariq Nasheed, these hidden color things make y'all feel good. You don't have to do a damn thing. You don't have to protest. You don't have to march. You don't have to vote. You don't have to do nothing. Just sit on your ass and watch TV. Hidden Tariq Nasheed entertains you. He's a good entertainer, but that's, that's not your history. Uh, Tariq is intelligent, but he made a wrong move. You want to mess with me. So your best bet is to go back to the cave, the hole, and crawl under the rock you came from. Because you don't want none of this. You don't. Look, you want to call somebody mumbly mouth. You bring Tariq, bring your your pretty sounding ass this way. And let's see what mumbly mouth going to do to you. Bet that. I give him his credit. He's got a little intelligence. You know, he's more intelligent than a monkey. Yeah, he's more intelligent than a raccoon. You know, I, I give you that. And I also liked his his puppet, you know, Crispy the Puppet. I like some of those episodes. You know, I, I, give, I, give, I give credit where credit is due. Now, let's let's let's. Say something real serious real quick. Set the record straight. Uh, Tariq said, I'm old. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm considered old, actually middle-aged, uh, 55 years old. But Tariq Nasheed, I think, and I think a lot of other people, um, I look just as good as your happy ass do. Matter of fact, you keep talking all this melanin stuff. I have more melanin than you do. So I'm older than you. And I have more melanin in you. And uh, I look just as good as you do. <laughs> you hope that you look like me. You're not going to get the melanin. You're not going to get the blackness. But let me show you. See, turn this light out. Look how dark I get. Look how dark I get. You don't, you don't want to go there. You don't want to go there, uh, uh, Tariq. Tariq Nashi. What, the, what kind of name is that anyway? Where you get that from? You know, but we're not going to mess with that. But uh, also, Tariq, as you get, as you live, you get older. You don't get younger, Tariq. You don't know that? So if you live, you will be my age, but you probably won't look as, as good as I do because you don't have the melanin that I have. See, see, you keep talking about melanin stuff. I got that. You don't really have a lot of that. I, I got a lot of that, that melanin thing. I'm really the black. Okay. 
Also, I represent Operation Exodus, Mississippi. We have a solution, a real solution. What is your solution to the problem of the so-called Negro, dark-skinned people of soul in this nation? Give you your, give you money. How do you fight white supremacy by giving you money? So what do you? So how are you fighting white supremacy? I don't see a damn thing you're doing. But now look at this. Now check this out. What you need to do, Tariq Nasheed, what you need to do, I wish I had that video. Maybe I can find it and, and, and add that on somewhere. But I saw a video of Tariq Nasheed. He was in his house talking with his wife in his mansion in his house or wherever the hell he stay at. But uh, even other people was making comments on the video. Tariq's house was nasty. So we know he don't have a maid. He don't have a butler. And clearly... Nothing personal against your wife, but somebody ain't clean up the damn house. Nasty house, nasty kitchen. I could have swore I seen some roaches running around. I, I'm saying, the roaches were saying, Black Power family, <laughs> can I get a donation too? <laughs> the, the roaches was. I ain't lying, the roaches was. They, you know, nasty house. And see, that's the thing about people like him. They want to perpetrate a fraud like they really living good. No, uh, there's no doubt. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't doubt he does. He lives in a uh, in a mansion. In in a big house. I wouldn't doubt that. But believe this. I can guarantee you, there's not a lot of a lot of furniture in the house. I know people. I've been around people, Negroes, that want to be rich and they perpetrate a fraud. I've been around those kind of people. Don't have no furniture in your house. You got. You have 15 rooms in the house. And no furniture, nowhere except in the main room. You don't have no furniture. There's no decoration. You live in this big house, barely cut the grass. Don't have, you know, it's just just perpetrating the fraud. Talking to his wife, will you will you make me a sandwich? He want to see. He want to show his control over the slave that he got. And she, and I told you the house look that the kitchen looks filthy and nasty. I wouldn't eat nothing. I wouldn't eat nothing out of Tariq Nasheed's house. Nothing. Somebody get that film. I saw that film. Now, see, I, I didn't want to talk about it, but see, since he want to, since he want to roll that way, let's talk about you. How nasty your house is. Again, you don't have no butler. You don't have no maid. And the only thing your wife do probably just lay down and bang you. And she don't care nothing about living in filth too. You nasty. See, Tariq Nasheed is probably one of those nasty Negroes. That when they come out in the public, they look clean. But if you go in that house, it's filthy. Dog hair all over the place. Cat hair all over the place. Baby, use baby diapers laying on the floor. That's the type of nigga that you want. Don't have no food in the house. You go to Tariq Nasheed's refrigerator. And the only thing in Tariq Nasheed's refrigerator is an old bottle of Dasani water from the tap. Because they've been drunk the real Dasani water long time ago. Then they fill the, the, the plastic bottle with some tap water. That's the, that's the type of Negro that y'all messing with. That's why he always got to beg y'all for money because the Negro don't have nothing. He's perpetrating the fraud. He's this close to being homeless. You know? Ah. <laughs> I can guarantee you he's driving a, a used luxury car just like Sonetta. <laughs> Sonetta, y'all actually impressed. Sonetta got a used Mercedes Benz running around Harlem, a used car. And I, I can guarantee you, Tariq Nasheed driving a used ass car, M Mercedes Benz or whatever these luxury cars is, because they're pretending to be something they want you to believe they are more than what they are. Oh, come on now. Really, really, really. Oh, come on now. Who you think you're fooling, Tariq? Who you think you're fooling, man? I've been around niggas like you. The brother, talk about I'm mumbly mouth. The brother said, I don't, now look, when he presented me to his audience, the only thing he, he showed them, I was getting ready to get into my talk, my video lecture, whatever. Now, he's not going to be stupid enough to really let me talk and challenge me on, on my information, cause people mumbly mouth, and then, the video that I saw, y'all can look it up. Uh, it's, it's on the uh, Havon Bullets Beyond channel. 
uh, it's uh, Tariq Nasheed's drags the reality's temple on earth ministry. Now y'all know if you look at the at the comments because people who know Angel Snuff Number Seven, I don't talk about aliens. I don't talk about conspiracy theories and Illuminati and all that kind of garbage. But see, Tariq Nasheed, he know I, I for some reason I pissed this man off. So he had to bring me up for some reason. I, I pissed him off. He can't take it no more. Now, mind you, I did. I, I'm not, I don't troll nobody. I don't troll nobody, but I did. I did back, back in the day. I did copy the Hidden Colors movies and put it on various sites or whatever. Really just to piss him off. Because once you put something in cyberspace, it's in cyberspace. You can't stop nobody from copying your crap. That's just how it goes. And every time you turn around, they, he got to go around, spend all day flagging, you know, getting his stuff removed. I just thought at the time, I, I didn't have nothing too much to do, so I thought it was funny. I did do that, but I did I don't make comments on his videos. I don't I don't even really watch Tariq, Tariq Nasheed's videos, except I watch Hidden Colors, Bootleg. <laughs> That's what I've I done. I admit that. I'm the only troll, if he had a problem with me, all my contact uh, information is on my videos. Any of you can call me on my phone right now. I show my face. How many trolls show their face and have contact information? If you have a problem with me, you can contact me. Bunch of bull crap. But the guy, this Tariq Nasheed, I, th I think he thinks he looks good. I think he really thinks he, that he's a good speaker and a good talker. Well, bro, I, I can do that too. Let's 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 put you against me. We'll debate about anything. I challenge Tariq Nasheed to a debate on anything. We can talk about apples and oranges. And I'll smash you. I'll crush you. He, he's very confused. He's a, a pimp. He's a pimp this minute. Then he wanna sing a, a fake ass Michael Jordan. This is how we do it. Fake ass Michael Jordan. You know, he's a filmmaker, but not really a good one because if he was a good one, he'd be doing better. And he and he wouldn't uh, have to be a professional beggar. Here you are. You talk about I'm an old man, but I don't beg nobody for no money. Here you are, young man, living in a mansion and begging folks. Will y'all well, give me some money? Please donate to my Patreon account. Donate to my film. Give me some money. Always begging. Like a homeless person. I don't know, looking at your house, how trashy and nasty and filthy your house is, you probably are close to homelessness. You can't you can't even pay the bill for a broke down ass mansion. He keeps talking about Tommy Sotomayor. He's the one with the struggle mansion, all broke down, full of roaches. I bet it's pissy. It's pissy because you know his house got raided. And he went out in the he he had to go out in in, in, in public in his pajamas. Scared as hell. Now, he was bad with Tommy Sotomayor, you know, messing with Tommy Sotomayor. But when the crackers and pickles, when white supremacy came to his house, his bitch ass bowed down. Mm, don't y'all smell pee? I think Tariq Nasheed done peed on himself. That's what he was. He done peed on himself. Please, please, Masa. Please, Masa, don't shoot my kids. Please, Masa, don't shoot my wife. Please, Masa, don't shoot me. Please, Masa. In his pajamas. See, when white supremacy come to his house, it's a whole new ball game. Your ass ain't tough, and your ass ain't bad when the Caucasian people with their guns and, and whatever come to your house. Now you want to make an excuse. I didn't do it, sir. I didn't do it, sir. I didn't do it, sir. <laughs> you know, Tariq, don't you ever. Now, I'm an old guy, but don't you ever. Put your think that you're gonna put your hands on me. I'm not Tommy Sotomayor. Matter of fact, verbally, you ain't gonna do nothing with me. So the best bet, Tommy Sotomayor, I mean not Tommy Sotomayor, the best bet that Tariq Nasheed can do is keep my name out of his mouth, because he don't want to go to toe-to-toe -to -toe with the most powerful voice on YouTube. If he didn't know me, how come, how come he knows a hundred of my channels got taken down? How does he know this information that he was talking about if he don't know nothing about me? I, I really don't know him. Oh, you know me, Tariq. Look, you need to shut the hell up and get the hell out of the way when grown folks get to talking.
And I'm very grown. Yeah, I'm old. I'm your elder, sir. And believe me, I can keep your happy ass in check. <laughs> Jot down y'all comments. This was fun. Thank you. Peace.